This is a movie on our business algebra uh, package that we're going to put in it. And what we're going to try to do is solve a system of linear equations uh, using the helper and some, some intellectual abilities. Notice first off there are more variables than equations. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one, so you kind of usually think you're going to solve systems of equations and get unique solutions. Um, this one doesn't lend itself to that, but we'll let it just happen and see what happens. The first thing I do is pop over to Eduscape's helper that is in the business algebra package, and we're going to use it to put the equations in and find the solutions. Uh, notice the variables are x, y, and z in the equation. Uh, in the helper, we use x1, x2, and x3. So the first one is 4 times x1, and we have to use the asterisk to tell the uh, helper that we mean multiplication. Okay? So anyway, it looks like we put the first equation in, which is 4 times x1 plus x2 minus x3 equals 4. Similarly, we will put the next one in, and this one's 8x plus 2y minus 2z equals 8. And as we do translate it so the helper will understand it, it's 8 asterisk x1 plus 2 asterisk x2 uh, minus 2 asterisk x3 equals 8. Okay, uh, this a particular solver here, or helper, uh, handles up to five equations with any numbers unknowns. So we'll remove the third one because there is only uh, three equations, and excuse me, two equations, and we'll put nil in its place uh, to cancel that last one out. Then we click on compute, and it'll take me a few seconds here to get the answer up. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a problem of scrolling around so that you can see it in the movie. Okay, and there we go. I'm trying still. And eventually it will appear on the screen. And it will look a little strange to you. Uh, it um, Basically, since there are multiple solutions here, it says x1 is equal to 1 fourth x3 minus 1 fourth x2 plus 1, which looks a little weird, but we'll go back to the helper and try to interpret that for you. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is set up some variables. Um, uh, well, I'm rewriting the thing for you so you can look at it so that you can t interpret the results. What this insinuates basically that it, that there is a infinite number of solutions, and so what we do these are called parametric e equations or parametric variables if you like. We will set up the values. For instance, we will let x3 arbitrarily equal t. Okay. Then we'll do similar for x2, and we'll let it equal s. You could name these anything you want. Okay. Uh, if we did that, then we can now define x1 to be the uh, one-fourth of, of whatever x3 is, which is t, so we get uh, what you see appearing on the screen. Okay, So x1 then is defined to be one-fourth of t minus one-fourth of s plus 1. Thus, we now have parametrically defined all of the variables in our solution. And if you wanted to really see if it worked, you could kind of arbitrarily uh, assign values to t and s, and then throw it into the equation and calculate x1, and you could see if it actually come out true. OK, and I'll go ahead and write the uh, coordinates in the parametric form. And we have thus solved this a system of linear equations with an infinite number of solutions. So once you get them, it's, even though you've got the helper to do it for you, uh, it's still not exactly trivial to set up what the values are going to be. Anyway, thank you for using Eduscape's uh, little movie here, and good luck.